Today we're going to be diving into the subject of friendship and looking at how you can start to make friends in Thailand. However, the majority of the tips and tricks we're going to be speaking about today can be applied to any other Southeast Asian country you are living in. Why is this important? Whatever country you move to, everything seems amazing, especially in the first couple of weeks and months. But as time passes, normal life resumes, and you may find yourself living in a completely different country with very few friends. If this sounds like you, don't worry, because a lot of people are in a similar boat. So let's see what we can do about it. The first tip I would give is to learn the Thai language or whatever country you're living in, learn the local language if this creates a barrier. For example, according to how widely spoken, English speakers in Thailand are around 27%. If you had a conversation with a hundred Thai people, then statistically only 27 of those will speak fluent English, meaning that you may have difficulty communicating with the other 73 people. And this is a lot of people who could potentially be friends. A great idea to make new friends as well as learn a new language is to create your very own language group. Alternatively, there are many organizations who provide a language service in many of the major cities across Thailand. Another consideration that you may wish to investigate is the local meetups happening all across the country. If you're living in areas such as Bangkok or Phuket, then this is fantastic because there's so many different meetups happening in these areas. Alternatively, you may be interested in downloading an app called Meetup. Another option is to help locals learn the English language and make friends at the same time. This was briefly mentioned when I spoke about learning the Thai language, but this tip is specifically on helping local Thais learn English. After spending some time in Thailand, what you will realize is that one thing that's heavily in demand across this country is conversational English. Many locals speak basic levels of English, but have a desire to learn more, but do not have many any foreign friends to practice with. Naturally, some areas in Thailand have slightly higher demand compared to other areas. You may also decide to hop onto Facebook and write on a few group pages. This sometimes works really well if you are also looking to learn the Thai language as you can exchange languages effectively. We then move on to priority, and this is making friendship a priority when living in Thailand. We all have priorities in life. One of the biggest priorities for many of us is money. So for many people, time is spent on these areas, starting a business, on a career, making more money. So where does friendship come in? If you are a busy individual, you may find some use in creating at least one or two days a week, focusing on building connections with people. And I mention one or two days as when we try to create new habits, having a specific time and a date each week often makes building habits much easier and leads to more success on average. The last point is perhaps one of the most important areas when you're looking to make friends in a new country and that is to have courage. Making friends as an adult is challenging and the older you are, the more difficult it can be, especially if you have not attempted to increase your social circle in many years. So why might you need courage? Well, that's a great question because there may be a situation where you've been invited to a meetup, for example, and you don't know anyone there or perhaps you're late. So you may need to walk into a room full of people and introduce yourself. But by getting yourself into the winner's mindset, knowing that everybody else is just in the same position as you, understanding the truth that even if you mess up or mispronounce your words or you look a bit silly, it won't really matter. It won't be the end of the world because this situation doesn't really matter on the grand scheme of things. 